Welcome to another episode of Fort Bend Mathematics Tutoring. Take a moment to soothe your nerves. Remember, these is just numbers. They can't hurt nobody. If you pay attention, you might pick up some. Here's Mr. Whit. Come on now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Whit with Fort Bend Tutoring, and today we have a brand new Fort Bend Tutoring news for October 2012. So, what's up? How you doing? Hopefully everybody out there is having a good time and you're doing great in your math classes. If not, you knew where to come. For Ben Tutoring, awesome. Well, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Here for October 2012, we have a picture of, for Ben Tutoring's mascot, the math monkey. His name is Kappa. How about that? Check out the pie symbol mm -hmm, on his t-shirt. You see that? Okay, so yeah, that's Cap of the Math Monkey, ladies and gentlemen, and we probably will have some giveaways in the future that will be dealing with Cap of the Math Monkey. So that's what we have going on for Fort Bend Tutoring News. Just wanted to give you a little quick preview of Cap of the Math Monkey. So let's go ahead and move ahead. Let's see what we have for you today. We're going to start out, ladies and gentlemen, talking about resources, continuing that thought of resources, things that will help you when you are studying for your various math concepts in your math math class. Yeah. Okay. We have some custom workbooks that we use from time to time, ladies and gentlemen, and some of these we're starting to make available to the public. The first one that's a real popular one is our Simply Math Workbook number 12. Well, what is the Simply Math Workbook number 12? It deals with, ladies and gentlemen, factoring trinomials of the form AX squared plus BX plus C when A doesn't equal to 1. In other words, these are the harder trinomials that you'll run across when it comes times to factor in any of your algebra classes, trigonometry classes classes, finite mathematics classes, even some geometry classes, and of course calculus classes will definitely have you factoring from time to time, more often than not. So you may need some practice on that. And we focus on mastering the concept. So this is a good thing. So just to give you a preview of some of the things that we offer in our workbook, ladies and gentlemen, we have assisted problems. So you see here, we have our problem 3m squared plus m plus 2. And we show you step by step how to work these problems out. All of our different techniques that goes hand in hand with our factoring quadratic trinomials part two video that goes over these specific problems ladies and gentlemen so that is what I'm showing you today the different things that are going to be in the workbook there so you can purchase this workbook uh, in the uh, corner over here it's going to be is it over there I think it's over here it's over here yeah there's a link to it over there ladies and gentlemen uh, where you can visit our store where you can purchase the workbook number 12 all right so we also have various various examples here to assist you through throughout the whole thing. So notice how this example is completely worked out. The first one that I showed you was an assisted problem that you can work out. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. It then goes on to have over 200 practice problems. What's up with that? So that's why I said not only do we show you how to do the process, not only are we teaching you how to do the process of factoring these quadratic trinomials, we also are a one-stop shop as far as finding a lot of examples to use to master the concept. And that's what it's all about. Yeah make life easy on you so that's what's going on there so if you were ever curious about that ladies and gentlemen that's what you need to do dig in and purchase one of those simply math workbooks especially if you need to worry about your factoring so what do i have here ladies and gentlemen what's coming up next siri knows math well who's siri so let's go ahead and grab a prop here that we'll be using for this all right and here is this ladies and gentlemen is what you would call a uh, iphone 5 yeah recently released in September yeah iPhone 5 alright so Siri knows math ladies and gentlemen so what does that mean who is Siri let's find out who are you I am Siri okay she's Siri Interesting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Siri knows math, and that's what it's all about. And that's what FBT News is going to show you for this month, ladies and gentlemen, that Siri knows math. So you may already know that she can do simple calculations. For instance, she can do this. What is 58 times 42? Let me think. 
here's what I found. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and what she's found is that the result is 2,436 and also gives the number name, 2,436. Okay, so that's a simple calculation. But what we want to tell you from Fort Bend Tutoring is that no, Siri really knows math. So let's look at a more complicated question, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have her do the following. Let's have her solve an algebra problem, okay? So let's see what she does with the following problem. Solve 5x minus 12 equals 13. Let me think about that. Okay, Mr. Witt, here you go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so not only does she have my equation written out, 5x minus 12 equals to 13, but she also shows the answer, x equals to 5, and she's graphed it out for me. Notice that she has the horizontal line of y equals to 13 as well as the line for y equals 5x minus 12 and their common point here. So she found out that x equals to 5 at that common point. She also shows it on a number line. Keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that these are not canned problems that I'm giving her. I made up these problems, all right? And so I'm just giving her questions that I just randomly made up. Let's see if Siri knows how to find the slope of a line. What is the slope of 2x minus 3y equals 6? Let me think about that. Okay, Mr. Witt, here you go. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. So she has the equation written out, the 2x minus 3y equals a 6, and she's found our slope. The slope is 2 thirds. She's let us know that this is part of a line, and she's actually graphed it to show us the visual representation of our line, our linear equation. Okay, well, let's see what else she knows. Okay, here, ladies and gentlemen, I have an inequality. So let's see if she knows how to do that. Let's check it out. Solve 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 2. Here's what I found. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so check it out. She has the inequality, 2x minus 5 is less than or equal to 2. She has the result, x is less than or equal to 7 halves, and she graphed it on a number line. Check out the closed circle that she has right there. That's accurate. That's what's up. Siri knows math. Let's see what else she knows. What are the first prime numbers? Let me check that. I found this. So what she's given me is the first prime numbers that she found from 2 all the way up to 71. And she's talking about the first 100 primes. There's a link to that to get more of those prime numbers. All right. So she did understand the question. Not answering it perfectly. But she did know that I wanted the prime numbers and she listed them out for me there. All right. Let's see what else she knows, ladies and gentlemen. What is the quadratic formula? This might answer your question. All right, ladies and gentlemen, they've given me an example of a quadratic equation, but what I really wanted was a formula, and here it is right here. That x equals to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, they have it right there. They are actually defining each one of the variables and constants that I have within the equation of ax squared plus bx plus c. And, ladies and gentlemen, it goes so far as to take that example that they gave us at the beginning and tell us which of the values would be what. You got it, ladies and gentlemen. So, Mm-hmm. If you needed a formula, you can just ask Siri. There you go. Let's check out what else she knows. Graph negative 2 cosine x plus 3. Okay, Mr. Witt, here you go. All right, so check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Siri knows trigonometry. How about that? And once again, this is not a canned equation. I made up this equation, ladies and gentlemen, to see if she knew how to do it. So she's pulling from Wolfram Alpha, the service that they have there, tying it to Siri, ladies and gentlemen. But notice that even if you give her a unique equation to graph, she can graph it. Here's going to be the result of that trigonometric function I just asked her to graph. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, just like that. Pretty cool. All right. Then let's see what else she can do. Graph 3 sine x plus 1. Checking on that. Okay, Mr. Witt, here you go. 
Well, notice, ladies and gentlemen, that that's not really what I wanted. That 3SGN of X plus 1, that's not what I wanted. Not at all. Let's see what we can do in order to change that. I can click right here, ladies and gentlemen, and I can tell Siri that no, I meant sign, as in S-I-N-E, and then go from there. So let's check out what happens with this one. So let's go ahead and click done, and she resets and actually grabs what I wanted. So even if you make a mistake, ladies and gentlemen, you can go in and correct what Siri thought she heard you say. Uh-huh. And once again, notice that we have another trig function that she grabbed correctly after I made that correction. Mm-hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what else we have. What is 3x squared? Cogitating. Here's what I found. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here I just simply asked, what is 3x squared? And she gave me a graph of the function. She also let me know that it's a parabola. She told me one of the solutions to the roots. And check this out. The derivative. What's up, calculus students? Also, the indefinite integral. What's up, calculus students? All right, so you can get a lot of information from Siri, ladies and gentlemen. So algebra, simple mathematics, as well as trigonometry and calculus. Mm-hmm, Siri knows math, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's check out a little bit more. What is 2x cubed minus 5x squared? Let me check on that. Here's what I found. Ladies and gentlemen, so here she received the expression that I was referring to, the 2x cubed minus 5x squared. She's grafted on the Cartesian plane for us, and check it out, she's even factored it. So if you have trouble with factoring, you can actually ask Siri about that too. She's giving you the solutions to the equations, the roots of it, and the derivative and the integral, ladies and gentlemen. She's even gone so far as to give us the local maximum, the local minimum, and the definite integral from zero to five halves, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty freaking awesome. All of that just by asking her, hey, what is 2x cubed minus 5x squared? Not bad, ladies and gentlemen. This is a gem for all of you iPhone and iPad 3 owners. That's what's going on. All right, let's see what else. Factor x cubed minus 8. Checking my sources. Here's what I found. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so she graphed it, and check it out. She actually has it factored out for us correctly, as well as the real root, and check it out. She has the imaginary roots as well, and she's graphed it on the complex plane and gave us the derivative, ladies and gentlemen, So and the indefinite integral. So if you have this for pre-calculus, calculus, or you're just doing this in an algebra class, ladies and gentlemen, you get all of the information simply just by asking Siri, and that's what's going on with that, ladies and gentlemen. Is that not cool? I think that's cool. All righty. Thanks, Siri. I aim to please. <laughs> yes, she does, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, she does. So that's what's that. All right. And the iPhone 5 in the house. All right. Cool. Next thing, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to let you know about as we head out for this FBT news for October 2012, and that is we really, really would love for you to participate a bit more with us, and that is you can send us your audio or video file so that you can get in on the intros and outros for each of our videos. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you're sending in your requests, please understand that we really, really try to put out some nice quality stuff for you guys, so we may not have a quick turnaround on that, but we will definitely put down your request in our request pool and we'll be getting those videos out to you shortly all righty so once again ladies and gentlemen this is mr witt with fort ben tutoring appreciate you watching and of course go ahead and send in your intros and outros to fbt at tutormemath.net and that's what's up peace
to the north, to the south, to the south, to the north, 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 to